Hello everyone, my name is Brian Chapanier. I'm going to be walking you through the process of getting a multi-sub-object, uh, multi-texture on a static mesh out of 3D Max into Doom 3. I'm going to start by making a geosphere, a small one right in there. Zoom up to that. Now go over to the Modify section, right click, convert to an edit editable mesh, uh, select the uh, faces. Now scroll on up to the area where it says set ID. We're going to click on this part here. We'll call that ID number one. We'll select this part over here. We'll call that ID number two. Yeah, some of it overlap, but it'll overwrite that part. And now we can just uh, click off to everything. So it's just the full on editable mesh that is now saved. We're going to open up the material editor first one here standard uh, we want multi sub object uh, discard old material yes set the number to two and click on that one uh, this one here beside diffuse bitmap and it's in uh, I have mine right here just some TGAs that I made that's the first one once that one's in the stack go back to the zero uh, the default material click on the next one again beside diffuse bitmap Number four, open. And now we come on back to the uh, default and you can see how it's split up two different uh, materials in the one area. So this here's already selected. We can add it to it. You won't see it in there though, until you, uh, unless you do a render of it. So we will do Alt RR and it won't pop open because I'm prob probably because I'm uh, video capturing. So we'll do render and OK, and there you can see how it has both textures on it. So something else I want to do is first off learn how to just set an ambient uh, light in a room so it's even lighting all around, but I want to create some lights. So I'm going to do Omni here, 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 and uh, Omni again, here, and here, just so there's some lights in the, uh, in the scene. Let's put some around the edges too. Doesn't really matter. What you're going to be doing is rendering out the shadows, and that that everything is that these lights show on this object. Um, so those are done. We're going to uh, move on back over to here. Select the actual object itself, and we're going to render it to texture. And wait for the box to open up. And with render to texture, we want to save it in the C drive in the textures custom folder and uh, come on down to here, add complete map of the selected object, add elements, keep on moving this up. We'll make it a 512 by 512. Down here, we want to create a new baked standard material blend and we will render it. Okay, so it's rendered out a texture. We can leave uh, this part out, and now with that still selected, it actually shows it inside the uh, editor here. Viewport, that's kind of nice. With the uh, uh, object still, the mesh still selected, we will export selected, and we're going to export it as a uh, an ASCII scene export in ASE inside of model C drive models map objects custom and we will call it uh, test uh, save mesh normals mapping coordinates yes everything is good there okay and uh, we're done here we can go to the C drive now on the C drive we have the textures folder open that up we have this one here we'll just uh, rename that to uh, test underscore D because that's going to be the diffuse map. We'll open that up inside of Irfan view and uh, do control R and make the picture half the size. Control S and we'll now save this as ED for the editor image. Close this one down. Head on back to the C drive in materials. We have a text, a text file called .mtr after it's been saved and it, this is what it says inside. So uh, here, just make it say test, and make it say test. What this file does is 
everything that is inside this uh, folder structure inside the pack is referenced as the test underscore just the test and the underscore ed is the editor image and underscore d is diffuse s is specular and local is bump map we're not using those so that's done there uh, save changes yes come on back to the c drive models folder map objects custom test ase open it up inside of here it says uh, shell material make that say uh, standard down here where it says wire size start at that point and pass the first wire size and come on down to the second wire size delete everything up to there and then here where it says submaterial this line right here just start selecting all of that until you get to this one right here right above the geo object and save that and then this part up here where it says uh, C here the bitmap you want it to say uh, well I'm just gonna go copy and paste this one this is what you want it to say you'll see it over here control V get rid of that second dot TGA and this here is just gonna be test dot TGA and this is what you want it to say it would all be one line if it was like a bigger screen so there's no actual return or enter here occurring on the keyboard it's just uh, because it's all one it just breaks it up because it's a small screen size so everything looks fine standard we got that we got rid of all the extra stuff and uh, so we can just save this test ASE uh, save it yes so now we can select textures models and materials right click add to zip we will call that pack 699 and get rid of that, just say full path info, add. Now we can cut this and head over to the Doom folder. Inside the Doom folder, head up to base, paste, rename to PK4. Yes, and now we'll open up the Doom 3 editor. Inside the Doom 3 editor, right click, new model, wait for it to open it up base models map objects scroll down to custom and test and okay and let's just move it where you'll be able to see it and i'll just uh, throw a bit more lights around it select this one spacebar to copy it and move it over i will bsp and we'll go in the game and check it out there's your uh, multi-texture object thingy inside the game.